Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a constant contact sign-up form to your WordPress website. We're going to be putting it right in the sidebar. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence, point you the fastest thing to success. Uh, there's a bunch more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. You can also sign up for a weekly alert about new tutorials that were added, or you can just subscribe to this channel. All right, with that we'll get started. We're going to go first. We're going to go download the plugin um, for that will allow us to do this. So you're going to search Constant Contact API. Uh, I also put in the description of the video um, what you should search for, and also the link where you can download it directly if you want to. So the one you're going to want to install is Constant Contact for WordPress by Cats Web Services Inc. Um, I already have it installed, but you know you go through, you hit install, and you activate it. And then once you do that, on the left side screen, you'll notice that all the way at the bottom, you'll see constant contact has been added. And then what you want to do is put in your username. Now I'm just going to have to pause this while I um, put in the password because it does show it. Okay, and then once you've put the password in, um, and then on the checkbox, you could have just left the way it, you can just leave it the way it is with uh, keep the data in the databases in case you reinstall the plugin or something. But if you're if you put in the right username and password, you'll get this page and it'll say your username and password seem to be working. Um, and then this is just um, you can ignore this for now. There's another form tool that these people that this form, this plugin creator made that I haven't tried yet, so I'm not going to recommend using it or not using it yet. But um, I I just want to um, show you how to do the sign up form, and then in a future tutorial, if it works well, then I'll I'll um, make a tutorial about how to use that. So I'm just going to hide that message so we don't have to get that doesn't get in the way on us. All right, so. That's that for there. Now you can go to Appearance, click on Widgets, and you'll see you have Constant Contact Events. That'll display any Constant Contact Events um, that are coming up that you might have in your account. We're just gonna, in this tutorial. We're going to cover the sign up. So you'll see Constant Contact Sign Up. Drag that into your sidebar. Pick your title. So Sign Up for tutorials your inbox. I'll make mine. Uh, you can do first and last name if you want. I usually just do first, personally. Now you can pick a page to redirect people to um, if you want. Now you might do something like that if you're if you're saying you know enter your name and email address here. Uh, for a free report, or and then you would re redirect them to a page that has that report. But in this case, I just want it to stay on the same page. So let's keep scrolling. Sl show list selection. Uh, this would make it so that the the users can pick which list that they're on. Um, and this makes it so that when somebody signs up, if you don't enable that, this uh, they'll automatically add them to one of your lists. These are the lists that they have set up. So I'll just keep it on general interest. And you hit save, and you can see how it looks on the website. Alright, so you'll see that it's first name and email. So sign up for tutorials in your inbox. So now I'll do Donato, and I'll put my email in, hit sign up. Alright, and it says success, you've been subscribed. And that just subscribe me to the um, that just subscribe me to the general list. So let's see what it looks like. I never do list selection, but let's just see what it looks like when you do. Oh, you can change. So list selection title. So choose topic. So if you had a list that were you know different topics that people could choose from, then they could do that. You could either do checkbox, drop down. Um, I'd say checkbox so they can choose more than one. Okay, hide these lists. You might want to hide certain lists. You know, some of them like general interest. If, uh, if you have general interest and then a bunch of others, you might want to hide one or the other. But for this one, we'll um, 
just hired non-members. We'll see how that looks. Okay, so I can choose the general topic, choose interest. So the checkboxes didn't work that well, you'll notice. So we'll go back and let's try a drop down. No, nope, drop down still doesn't work. So this isn't working on my theme. It could be a theme thing. Usually you'd have to go back and um, troubleshoot. But the main purpose of this tutorial was just to show you how to add a, a simple sign-up form that will add to a list of your choosing. Um, if you really do want people to sign up on different lists, you could add in multiple widgets and then, um, you know, customize them that way or have different pages have different sidebars that have different sign-up forms. Uh, it could get very confusing very fast, but um, if you really did need to do that, you can. And um, also, if you really do need to do that, you can get in touch with us and we can troubleshoot it and get it to work for you. But that is how you add the sign-up form. It works perfect uh, for adding to a list. And uh, hope it helps. So this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and Emark tutorials give you the keys to web presence, putting you in the fast lane success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com tutorials.